Welcome back to Studio B here in the Tandem C Television Studios. And I apologize, but I had to make a quick wardrobe change. The normal creepy crawlers gear that I usually wear, it wreaks havoc with a green screen. There's just too much green. In fact, it's, I mean, it is green screen, color green uh, in the gear, and it just doesn't work well. So I did a quick wardrobe change. I hope you don't mind. But now, it's been a long time since we've been together. In fact, I think it's been about a month since the last update I made, and there's been a ton going on uh, here in the studios and in the workshop. And I need to get you guys caught up. So we've got a lot to talk about today. Um, starting with Fern Solo's D90 scale motor build. Uh, we've made really good progress on that, and I want to get you guys updated on that. Um, we've got some good comments, uh, or a good comment. We're just looking at one comment. Uh, a good one, though, for this week. And I think I've got it. Uh, I need to ask you a question about it, so stick around for that. And there's been a huge step taken forward out in Studio A. So that's the big studio where we're going to really be doing our filming uh, for the big C, uh, CGC uh, 2084 series that's coming up. Um, we ha we took a, a, a big step forward, and I want to show you guys what that is and talk about it and what that means as far as uh, moving forward with the channel and actually maybe getting back to filming on a normal schedule. We'll take a look at the end, so don't go anywhere. I wanted to start by updating you on the scale motor build we were doing for Fern Solo. So this is a scale motor cover uh, that's going to be going in Fern Solo's D90. Um, and we had, we had created some files and sent, sent those over to Wes at Westmade Builds uh, to be printed on his resin printer. And his printer, you, well, you can see the, the, the quality, the detail is far superior. In fact, if I, if I grab the original prototype, you can see uh, the low resolution detail of the original prototype prototype compared to what Wes was able to do on his resin printer. Now I've gone ahead and assembled it. I didn't want to take up your time by uh, showing you footage of me assembling this again. We've seen how that was done in a previous update. So I went ahead and assembled it, uh, gave it a full paint job. As a reminder, this is a motor cover and I wanted to make sure it was vented well enough as a cover. So this is going to completely cover the motor. So I didn't want it, I didn't want the motor to not be able to breathe. So I did make sure and add uh, some vents at the front of the can. Uh, hopefully that should be enough to vent the motor, let the motor breathe a little bit. Um, and now I think what we need to do is go ahead and get this installed so we can take a look. How does it look in, in the D90? How's it, how's it fit? How's it look? Just make sure everything looks good. To do that, I'm going to have to pull out uh, the old motor, which means I'm going to have to start clipping some zip ties that are holding the wiring uh, in front truck. And I hate, I hate doing this with other people's trucks. Um, I don't I'm always scared that I'm going to take something apart and not put it back together exactly the way I find it. So what I like to do is I go ahead and take photos. Like you see here, I take photos of exactly where these zip ties are. Um, all, I believe it's five different zip ties, and I know exactly where they are. So when I put this back together uh, with the motor cover in and, and finalizing everything, I'm going to put those zip ties exactly back, back exactly where they came from. I want to make sure this truck goes back to Fern exactly as it came to me, except with a scale motor in it. I've installed the motor and I think let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty good. I, I like the way the silver really stands out against the black inner fenders. I really like how it looks in there. I love the detail of it. I, I, I think it's looking pretty good. The only issue I really have is how far forward it sits. Now that's just part of this truck, part of this model is the uh, motor in it sits a little forward in the engine bay. And I'm not I'm not going to modify Fern's truck to make that sit further back. That I, I have no, I don't want to do that to his truck. Um, but what I think we can do with that motor sitting too far forward, what it's what it's essentially doing is giving too much space behind the motor. And I think what we can do is fill that in. And I think the best way to fill that in is we'll just use some clear plastic, maybe some clear Lexan something. I should have something uh, here in the shop uh, that we can paint black, just like the inner fenders, and kind of extend those inner fenders around behind the motor, fill in that area and really uh, just kind of show off the motor. So you won't be able to see down through the engine bay anymore and see the frame rails and all that. I think that will uh, give a give an illusion that the motor is sitting more in the center of, or a little further back in the engine bay. I think it'll give it a, a I think it'll look good. So I think we'll take care of that. Now, also, there's gonna need to be a lot more detail. And I think another way we can fill out that engine bay uh, is with detail. So things like, uh, headers and exhaust. It'll take up some space. I want to do a lot of the hosing um, and uh, uh, spark plug wires um, and different details that'll help fill out the engine bay and fill out that area also uh, to kind of hopefully push the motor back a little bit. Um, and I have a lot of different things um, kind of laying around the shop, things from wire. And this is to let you guys know, There's look through your shop. There's always things you can use 
um, for details in motors. Like a lot of times I'll just use wire, hardcore wire um, that you can paint any color you want that'll work for hosing and that type of stuff. Uh, I also get a lot of different wire. I've picked up a lot of wire from the beading section of your big box store, so your Hobby Lobbies or whatever. So go over to the beading section and they have a lot of wire, uh, I guess, that people use for beading. And it comes in reds and blacks and silvers. And that stuff works great too for plug wires and those kind of details. So I have a lot of stuff laying around here in the shop that I think we're going to use to detail out um, Fern Solo's uh, engine cover here. So yeah, that means we're, we're not quite done. We've got a little bit more left to go. I think one more update and we'll have this done uh, and sent back to uh, Fern. I, I just didn't want to leave it bare like it is. Uh, I think I'm going to come up with a... Uh, a belt, a fan belt also, and all that kind of detail. Um, but we'll get that done before the next update. So make sure and stay tuned for that. And then we'll finally have Fern Solo's D90 back to him and he'll have his scale motor in it. So stay tuned to that. We're going to take a look at what's going on over in Studio A, but we're going to do that in just a second because we've got a good comment. I had a good comment uh, come through on the channel and that's something we've been doing recently is, I guess, commenting on comments. Uh, and I had one that comes up or I think kind of regular in comments sections. I think a lot of you guys out there run YouTube channels also, and you probably see this a lot, uh, where you've got uh, people promoting their YouTube channels in your comment section. You don't have a clue who they are. Obviously, they didn't reach out to you or anything. And I had one of those, so I thought we would talk about it. Um, I have it printed out here, so I'm going to read it to you. Uh, this comes from New Era Adhesives and Sealants. Private Limited? Is the PVT period? Is that private? I don't know. Uh, anyways, it's from New Era Adhesives and Sealants. Uh, we provide complete pipes and plastic joining, sealing, repairing solutions for PVC pipe, plastic item, and specialized tape. Uh, please sub subscribe to our YouTube channel for informational videos, YouTube, uh, and there's their YouTube address. Now, I'm not uh, highlighting this as any kind of promotion. I mean, obviously, if you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. I don't, I don't care. Um, but I'm, I'm highlighting it for two reasons. One, uh, for you guys out there, you guys out there that run YouTube channels, you know you see this, and it's it's kind of infuriating. Like, you, you create videos. This is our personal IP or our personal uh, intellectual prod, uh, property that we're creating here for YouTube for you guys to watch, and then you have somebody just kind of jump in and try to advertise on, on it, and it's a little irritating. I'm sure you guys with YouTube channels out there see it too. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, you out there that, that don't, and I know you guys... My audience, uh, I, well, I know at least have half a brain, so you guys aren't, I know you guys aren't doing this in the comments, but but don't if you ever think about it. It's it's not something to do. But that's not really what I really wanted to talk about uh, with this comment. What I really wanted to talk about with this comment is it's they make adhesives. And as you guys know, I just picked up an affiliation with Starbond Premium, Premium Adhesives, and this is this is the good stuff. This is, you know, I know this is the good stuff. And then they just advertised in my comments section for adhesives. So I had an idea. Let me go over to their website, which I did, and take a little look around. And it turns out they have something they call it instant adhesive. Uh, I'm pretty positive that's CA glue or some kind of super glue. That's, that's something that's in direct competition with Starbond. So what I thought we would do, and I'd see, I was going to ask if this is something you guys would want to see. If they, if they, if they have the balls enough to advertise in my comment section um, on a channel that is literally affiliated with a glue company, let's put them to the test. So what I thought I would do is buy up some of this. If this is something you guys would like to see, I'd buy up some of this instant adhesive and let's put it to the test against Starbond. Let's see if you, if you have if you have the cojones enough to advertise in my comment section, let's put it to the test. So let me know, guys, let me know down in the comment section. Is that something you'd like to see? You want me to go ahead? Now, this stuff, they're located in India. I don't know how easy. I, I did a little research, obviously. Um, and they are located in India. They have about five offices or so uh, over in India. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get this stuff. But if it's something you want to see, I will get some. And we will essentially do the same, kind of the same testing I did in my CA glue video. But... A head to head. These guys, what is it called? New Era stuff against Starbond. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Now, with that out of the way and talked about, again, let me know down in the comments, but with that out of the way, we have big news about Studio A. Um, so that's really, Studio A has been, as you guys know, kind of been the holdup why videos aren't filmed as much uh, or aren't as re released as much on the channel because of the big bottleneck we've had over at Studio A, which is 
where all the filming needs to happen. Um, and the big bottleneck, I don't know how, how many of you guys are aware, has been, well, we need power over there. So I had wired up uh, all of the electrical outlets and the lighting and everything. But we, I, I, I thought best judgment for me to not take those home runs and connect it to, to the power. I, I just was not confident enough. I didn't want to die by way of electrical electrocution because I'm doing something I didn't know what to do. That, that I guess that's the easiest way to put it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to kill myself. Um, so the electricians were just recently out. Um, so the fundraising has been going well. Uh, and I was able to get an electrician out. Um, and we actually, they actually replaced the entire, entire panel. So at first we were, we were going to just do an expansion panel, um, to power just the, the garage or the studio a, sorry, studio, it's not a garage, it's studio a, um, we were going to do an expansion panel and, and kind of go the cheap route, but I really wanted to go, I wanted to do this right. I'm going to have a lot of gear in there. I'm going to have a lot of expensive gear in there. So I wanted to do it right. So they, I had them replace the, uh, the 32, um, the 32 bus panel with a brand new 42 bus panel. So the original panels from 1998 had a lot of corrosion, um, uh, it just was not in that great a shape anymore. The the grounding rods were not, one, were not up to code um, and were kind of looking pretty bad. So basically I had them completely replace the panel uh, with a whole new panel for with 10 more buses that we can use uh, to power the garage. They tied all that, all the, all the stuff I did, uh, all those outlets and everything that I did, they tied into the, the panel for me, uh, which by the way was a miracle because nothing tripped. It, it actually, they actually work. I actually wired them correctly. It's kind of a small miracle. But then also I had them put in what is actually a, a whole house uh, surge protector. So this is a, a surge, a surge protector to protect the entire house, which includes all the circuits for the garage. And I really want them to do that because not only here in Studio B do I have a lot of gear and computers and lights and stuff that I don't want uh, power outages or any power surges to uh, harm, especially the computers and my hard drive, my NASes and all that. Um, and then, of course, in Studio A, we're going to have tons of gear uh, that I don't want an, a, a lightning strike or something to destroy. So I had them put in a, a, a whole house surge protector just for my peace of mind. So long story short, we now have power to the garage. So now I can close in the garage and we can... Uh, temperature acclimate the garage or we can add in AC and heating unit, um, which now that it's November, December, um, not as, not as important. It's really the summer months and the spring and summer months, uh, here in South Texas that we really need AC. Um, to, again, because of all the gear that's going to be in there, we don't want it in there with the humidity and whatnot, but now going into the winter months, we just, I do still want a heater, um, so I can be comfortable while I'm filming. Now I'm kind of babbling about this, but uh, what that means is we're at the point, we're, at, we're in the final stages. So the big bottleneck was the electrical part. All the rest of this, I'm gonna, I can handle myself. Uh, I just need to buy some sheetrock, uh, close everything in, um, and then I'm just going to put a, a ductless unit in um, for the a AC heater unit. Uh, uh, I think it's, it, they make some ductless heat pumps. Um, so I'm going to put one of those in uh, to climate control and mainly humidity control uh, the space. Um, so with that said, what I think we're looking at timeline wise, I think we're looking at by the end of the year. So I think in January, so we're, we've missed our mark by about, well, when I say we, I've missed the mark by about 12 months, but I think January 1st or in the beginning of January, January, we should be back filming one CGC 2084, uh, and, regular filming on this channel. In other words, regular uh, output of, of, of videos for this channel. Like we used to know a, a little over a year ago where you get a couple few, at least two or three videos a week. Um, that should be coming back to the normal in the beginning of the year. Uh, I think we're at that point with Studio A to make that happen. So anyways, that's great news. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, if you want to keep up with all that's that's coming, whether in the next couple months where we because I'll be documenting 
the rest of the work going on over there in Studio A. I didn't film the electricians. I, I never feel comfortable filming other people, so I didn't film their work, what they were doing. But everything that I'm going to do in there from this point on, I'll be documenting for you guys in the updates. If you want to keep up with that, hit, the subs hit that subscribe button down below. Um, leave me those comments down below. Uh, hit that like button. Hey, and link down in the description for Starbond if you need some CA glue or any adhesive. So it's premium adhesives. They make all kinds of stuff. There's a link down in the description. And make sure and use TCTV10 and you'll get a 10% di discount. So make sure and do that too. Uh, hit subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining me. I'll try to see you much sooner than a month from now. Thank you and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.